hello guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that force f acts perpendicular to the inclined plane determine the moment produced by f about point a express the result as a cartesian vector and in 449 problem we are asked to find the moment of this force f about point b as well so we will find the moment of this force f about point b as well so to find the moment about point a and b let me write that the moment about point a will be equal to the cross product of the moment arm and that moment arm will be from a to c the position vector from a to c can be considered as the moment arm for finding the moment about point a cross product with the f vector so for this we need to have the position vector from a to c that will be our moment arm and we need to represent this 400 newton force as a cartesian vector so now to represent this force f as a cartesian vector we need to have the unit vector along this force f so the unit vector along this force f is required so this force f as a cartesian vector this will be equal to its magnitude its magnitude is 400 times the unit vector along this force f let's say that unit vector is rf and this will be equal to 400 and the unit vector along this force f will be equal to the position vector along this force f divided by the magnitude of that position vector now we have to find the position vector along this force f and as we know that the cross product of any two vectors always gives us a third vector which is perpendicular to those two individual vectors so if we take the uh, cross product between vector bc and vector ac that will give us rf the position vector that will be perpendicular to this rac and this rbc or in other words we can say that that rf will be perpendicular to the surface made by both of these vectors this rbc and this rac and this rbc and this rac they are making this inclined surface so if we take the cross product of rac and rbc that will give us the position vector rf which will be perpendicular to this rac and this rbc or in other words which will this will be perpendicular to the surface made by both of these vectors now how how we can say that that will be in this cross part will give us the position vector along that force f so now let me draw um, our bc vector let's say let's say this is our bc vector and let me extend it so we have that our bc vector some until somewhere here right and let's say we draw our ac vector so this is our ac this is our bc vector so to find the direction of this rf we need to extend our right hand fingers in the direction of our ac and then we have to curl our right hand fingers towards our bc so our thumb will point out in a direction that will be perpendicular to our bc and our ac at the same time and that since this force f is perpendicular with this inclined surface or with this our bc and our ac so that position vector which is rf that will also be parallel to this force f so once we find the cross product that will give us rf and this rf will be the position vector which will be acting along this force f so now let's find this rac and rbc the position vectors so our to find our ac let me write our ac so to find our ac we need to move along the x y and z from a to reach that point c so from a we need to travel three meters in the negative z that is in the negative k so this is minus three k so we will reach here the origin and then we need to travel this distance which is four meters in the positive y so this is plus four j and there is no need to travel along the i the, along the x-axis so that component is zero similarly our bc So our BC is 3 meters. We need to travel 3 meters in the negative I. So minus 
3i and then from here we need to travel 4 meters in the positive j so plus 4j and the k component is 0 for this position vector now let's take the um, cross product so this is i j and k and this is rac this is we need to write the components of this rac first right so this is 0 plus 4 minus 3 and then the components of our bc which is minus 3 4 and 0 now we will take the cross product so this is rf so for i we need to hide this and this and this is 4 into 0 minus into minus 3 so plus 3 plus 3 into 4 so plus 12 so this into this right so plus 12i then for j we have to hide this and this and with j we need to have minus sign as well so minus j and then this into this and this so 0 into 0 0 and minus into minus 3 into minus 3 and then for k plus k and then hide this row and this column so 0 minus so minus 4 into minus 3 so this gives us um, minus into minus plus 9 minus 9 and plus 9 so this is plus 9j plus 9j and then for k this is uh, minus 4 into minus 3 so plus 12k let me write that this is plus 12k so now this is the position vector rf which is acting along that force f let me show this uh, position vector along that force f so this is rf and this rf must be perpendicular to that rac and rbc now once we know the position vector along that force f we can use this equation to find the cartesian vector representation of that force f so force f is equal to force f is equal to 400 times the position vector now the position vector is 12i plus 9j plus 12k and we have to find its magnitude so we need to divide 400 by the magnitude of this position vector rf so the magnitude is uh, 12 square plus 9 square plus 12 square so this gives us 19.209 and now 400 divided by this answer so this is 20.82 so let me write that um, that magnitude is 19.209 and if we divide 400 by that magnitude that gives us 20.82 and now let's multiply this 20.82 with each component of that position vector along that force f so this force f is equal to 20.82 multiplied by 12 this gives us 249.84 i then multiply by 9 187.38 j and then multiply by 12 plus 249.84 k so now this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f so now once we find the cartesian vector representation of that force f we can use this equation now so we can find the ma so ma is the cross product of rac we know rac so that will be i j and k and this is rac so our AC is 0, 4, minus 3 and force is 249.84, the I component, the J component is 187.38 and the K component is again 249.84. Now we need to take this cross product, we need to find this determinant, so MA. 
so for i again we have to hide this and this so we need to take this product let me write that this is i 4 into 249.84 minus minus 3 into 187.38 and then with j we have to write minus so we have to hide this and this 0 minus this so minus into minus 3 into 249.84 and then for k we have to hide this and this and 0 minus this so plus k and minus 4 into 249.84 so now let's find this so for i component that is 4 into 249.84 minus into minus is plus let me write it as minus minus 3 into 187.38 this gives us 1561.5 let me write it is uh, 1562 approximately 1562 i and then for j minus uh, minus into minus 3 into 249.84 so this gives us plus 749 this gives us plus and with minus that will that is minus 749.52 j and then for k that is uh, minus 4 into 249.84 so this gives us minus 999.4 k so this is the moment about point A due to that 400 Newton force which is perpendicular to the inclined surface and remember that the units are in Newton meter. Now in the next problem that is um, 449 we are asked to find the moment about point B. So the moment about point B can be determined very easily. The moment about point B this will be equal to for moment about point B this will be our moment arm from B to C the position vector from B to C can be our moment arm so the position vector from B to C cross product with that force F so again we have to find that determinant so this is I J and K and RBC now we know RBC this is our RBC this is minus 3 4 and 0 and force F the magnet the components of the force so 249.84 187.38 and 249.84 so MB again for I we have to hide this and this so this is 4 into this minus 0 so let me write this as 4 into 249.84 i with j we need to write minus now for j we have to hide this and this so minus 3 minus 0 so this and this so minus 3 into this minus 0 so minus 3 into 249.84 and now for k we have to hide this and this so that will be plus k and that is uh, this and this so we have to this we have to take this product so minus 3 into 187.38 minus 4 into 249.84 so now let's find this 4 into 249.84 this gives us uh, 999.36 this is 999.36 i then this will be uh, for j minus 3 into 249.84 that is minus 749.52 and multiply by this minus sign so that will give us plus 749.52 so plus 749.52 j and now for k minus 3 into 187.38 minus 4 into 249.84 
this gives me minus 1561.5 or we can say that this is minus 1562 okay and the units are in newton meters so this is the solution of uh, problem 448 and 449 and i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe ingenious academy if you haven't done it yet